We're Sarah and Alex James, and that's our baby vans. We take empty cargo vans and transform them into beautiful tiny home on wheels. We just wrapped up this conversion in a 2019 170 extended sprinter van that seats and sleeps for with an electric bed lift, full bathroom, AC unit, and so much more. So come on in for the tour. Welcome to our latest van. <laughs> this is our family van layout in a 2019 170 extended sprinter van, and it is the 3500, so it has the dually wheels in the back. Now, some of the features of this van build include a happy jack bed lift, so that is a actual power up and down bed lift. We're really excited to show you. So it sleeps four, seats four. We have an aluminous roof rack on here, a tile bathroom, custom window coverings, 400 watts of solar, 3000 watt inverter, and we'll get into all these specs in just a minute. So come on inside. So we are Sarah and Alex James. We built out this van. We have a company called Custom Crafted Vans that we built custom van conversions. We're custom crafted because literally everything that goes into these vans is completely custom, custom built for exactly what the client wants and to fit their needs. So for this family, they are a family. So they wanted the two extra seats. These do recline, which is why you see space here behind the seats. Then we have some upper cabinets here for storage as well as their fantastic vent fan. Now let's take a minute to admire this beautiful ceiling. It was a whole lot of work, but we really love the way that it came out. This is Poplar that Alex ripped one by three sections that run most of the length of the van. You'll get to see it in the back once we lower the bed and all that, but it turned out beautiful. We stained it and I just love Poplar when it's stained, it's so pretty. This is actually the first time that we have done a countertop that's not butcher block. We usually love doing butcher block to incorporate the wood elements, but as you know, and we just talked about, we did a wood ceiling, kind of warmer wood floor. So we wanted to break that up. And this client wanted a solid surface countertop. I believe this is Corian. And it turned out really, really pretty. I actually really like this and I'm excited to see how it holds up in a van. They have a nice deep stainless sink and black faucet. One of the nice features about this is it does pull out and you can spray around. Um, you could even spray somebody <laughs> outside of the van, which is pretty nice. And then they have a built-in cooktop. This is a Dometic two burner propane stove. They do have a propane tank mounted underneath the van at the back of the van. They've got lots of storage in their kitchen. So they have storage underneath the sink as well as three drawers and another kind of utility area that has some electrical in it. Now, one of the things that we always like to do is put their 12 volt dimmable switch for their puck lights that run along the ceiling right by the door. So this is a dimmable switch. A lot of people use the touch switch, but we've heard those are very, very glitchy. So we will link below where we get these because it's not on Amazon. As well as an outlet, a 110 outlet. And then this is their S-Bar diesel heater remote control. So this is how they turn their heater on and often set their thermostat for how warm they want to keep their van. One thing we didn't mention though, this van has at the beginning, which maybe I just throw it in here. Can't believe we forgot this. One of the coolest features of this van is it has a 12 volt air cooling unit that we're gonna talk about, which we're really excited about and is definitely going in our next van build. We also have a dimmable switch right here for the bathroom. So same idea, dimmable, nice. And let's move to the bathroom. This bathroom is 24 by 32 and you will notice that it right now is just a shower. These clients wanted a cassette toilet, which they have and will be putting in here. And then when they want to shower, they'll just take the toilet out and shower in here. We also have our standard, if you've ever watched any of our van tours, Nautilus shower door. This is actually what they call brush nickel, but it's more of a gray. So we went with this gray option with the stripes. So when you're in there, you can contain all the water in the shower and you don't have water splashing around in your van. We love these, they're self-cleaning and the retractable is really nice because it's just space saving. So right here, they have a cabinet that is a hanging wardrobe and just more storage. And then below that, they have their isotherm 130 liter fridge. So this thing is huge and awesome. And it's nice elevating it a little bit so that they don't have to bend over really far. It's really easy to see everything inside. So the bed is super exciting that this sleeps for people. We'll show you how this bed lift comes down, creates a second bed up top. And then down below is their kind of dinette, 
you know, standard table and benches where they can sit and eat during the day. And then that also converts to a bed. So we will show you that. And if we head back here, it is not standing height back here. I, for reference, am about five, six. And if I hunch over <laughs> a little bit, I can stand up back here. But the idea is you're not standing back here anyway when you're sitting. Um, and we have our standard table on a lagoon swivel and people gave me crap about this last time because you know you know what I said I said the swivels around and because it was pushed over to the side it hit the cushions do people not realize like you can just yeah it can spin all the way you want me to spin it here you go it spins <laughs> so people are funny on YouTube sometimes I just had to call that out because yeah if you shove it over yes it's gonna hit the cushions but this is one of the great things is you can move it over to the side to get all the way in here versus having a pedestal that is mount, mounted into the floor. So really works well when you have a lot of people trying to get in and out of these benches. It can be a little bit difficult because it is a tight space and you do have to be hunched over back here. So just wanted to point that out. Now we're gonna switch it over to Alex. I'm gonna take a nap because I'm exhausted. So I'm gonna make this into a bed. The lagoon slides right off table fits right on these cleats we have this little filler piece but I'm gonna wait a second And then one of our favorite things is you can hug this when you sleep or put it between your legs. Oh, just like this. Okay, good night, Alex. Now that Alex so nicely made this bed for us, I'm gonna lower the top bed and show you guys what this van is all about because it's the coolest thing. It's called a Happy Jack for those of you that are gonna ask. <laughs> and Alex showed you the switch. So. Go. And here is the bunk bed. So this is four inches of a combination of high density and memory foam. Alex wired up an LED rope light up here. So just like under the toe kick, you can change the colors of it and have fun. And I don't know, I gotta say, it's pretty comfortable. <laughs> I could sleep here. So Sarah talked a little bit about the Fresair air cooling system that we have in this van. This is a 12 volt system, so your inverter does not have to be turned on in order for it to, to run, which is a huge perk we've been looking for a long time for a really good 12 volt cooling system. This will be going in our next van. We have a blog post linked down below with more of the details and technical specs on this unit. And also you can buy it directly through that blog post if you're interested. Um, it's super easy to install. It does take up about as much space as a standard um, AC unit would on top of your van. We trimmed it out with this nice poplar frame and all in all, super excited that we will be able to have cool air wherever we travel in our van this summer. Oh my God, it's blowing me away. <laughs> Seriously, then cooks. All right. mean cools. Cools. It also <laughs> has a light and it can run as just a fan. And this runs to a five gallon holding tank and it circulates water up, it cools it. There's a pine filter inside, so it doesn't actually release moisture into the van. So it's not like a swamp cooler where you're just dumping moisture um, into the van. Wow, I've got like hair in my eye now from that. That was intense. Um, and what you hear is the pump actually, so it recirculates between that five gallon tank, it pumps water up and then it pumps water back. And that's what is cooling the air. And we have that located in their water compartment, which is on the back driver's side of the van. So they have a 23 gallon fresh water tank. They have the five gallon holding tank for their Fres Air and a two and a half gallon on demand water heater that we install in all of our vans because all of our vans have hot water and a shower and the hot water does run to the shower as well as the sink. For the sink and the shower, both of those have five gallon holding tanks underneath the van that they can dump using the 12 volt 
12 volt ball valves wherever they feel they can dump responsibly. Above their kitchen, this is their electrical compartment. This is where we install the electrical panel that you always see us put on our vans. So they have the inverter remote, they have their Victron BMV. This is their fresh water tank sensor so they can see how much fresh water they have in their tank. This is the switch for their water pump and there's a little tease. That's the remote for the Happy Jack. Lifts the bed up and down. And like we always do, you gotta get the mood lighting right wherever you are in the evening. So we always install toe kick LEDs underneath the kitchen, which are color changing and pretty sweet. Cause that is our favorite lighting in the evening when we're out on the road because it is nice ambient lighting because it's shooting down. No one outside of your van can see it, which is really cool. Underneath the bench on the passenger side, this is their electrical compartment. So they do have uh, 300 amp hours of lithium battery. They also have a 3000 watt inverter. This is connected to their alternator. So it does charge when they are driving. They have three, excuse me, 400 watts of Renogy solar up on their Illuminus roof rack and they have the Renogy Rover solar controller mounted in there. So they're constantly charging their batteries when they're out in the sun and the fun. And this van is really cool. Pretty happy with how it came together. Like Sarah said, everything we do on these vans is custom. This van in particular, this layout with the Happy Jack, as you can see, has a ton of trim work involved in it. This is the most intense build that we have. Intensive, maybe intense and intensive. And it's been a really fun push to finish this over the last three weeks. We've had this van since October. This is the longest timeline for any build that we have if someone wants this layout. But at the end, it really is worth it because you get a lot of bang for the buck. So thank you guys. I'm just going to stay up here and, you know, take a little nap because this build was a lot of hard work. <laughs> thank you guys for watching this van tour. We will see you guys next time. And everything will be linked down below if you want more details about what is involved in this van and all the components and everything we used. So if you like this, be sure to like it and subscribe and we'll see y'all next time.